Hey everybody, this is Aaron with TheRuggedStory.com. I got the FC55 Panasonic Semi-Rugged Tough Book, and in this video, I wanna show you a few different useful features. As soon as you open up your 55, turn it on, it might help you out. First of all, if you have a touchscreen model, you can find your stylus stored in the little switchblade little icon right down here. You just have to push down on it, pop it out, and it's right there. It's a touch dial, so I'm just gonna leave that in there because I got a touch screen, but again, that's only on the touch model. There is the HD model, which is not touch, and then the FHD, which is the touch. Um, so first thing, you got your uh, computer turned on. You're gonna walk through your Windows setup, especially for Windows 10. You're gonna have to kind of set up your profile and everything, then you'll be in the Windows environment. So the first thing that I would suggest to go for is the Panasonic PC settings utility. And this is really kind of not dedicated just to the 55, but this should be something you do with every tough book that you turn on is start going to there. And there's a few different ways to get there. Uh, you can go to the search function and hopefully my top down camera is recording. So we're in frame. So I'm just gonna go, um, I'm just going to type in utility or just start typing and it should be the first thing that pops up. I would suggest bookmarking that to your taskbar just so that that's really uh, easily accessible because that's going to help you function or access a lot of functions in your Panasonic Toughbook. So I'm, I've already tasked it to, uh, pinned it to my taskbar. I'm going to open it up and um, that brings me to the second function that I'd like to show you out is the um, A1, A2, A3, A4 keys. The CF54 had an A1 and A2 key. The 55 has expanded that with four of them. They're found on the one, two, three, four buttons on the top of the keyboard, and you just hold down function and access it. So these are interchangeable keys that you can set to give you pretty much a shortcut to a program, et cetera. Um, they're by default set to uh, function A1 will get you to the PC settings utility. It's set up like that and you can easily access it, so that would be the third way to access the PC settings utility. I already have it open and I've already gone to the settings tab, the keyboard icon, and we're at the key change screen. So I can restore the defaults, but I can change those again. They're a combination of the function key, the one, two, and three, four keys. And it has a bunch of settings. You could change each one. The thing that you probably do um, to change is have one of those keys open a program that you often use. If it's Outlook or if it's a um, CAD program, um, you could set that to that. So that's changing the A through four keys, or A one through four keys. The second thing that I would talk about would be the um, support tab. So if you go over to the support tab, this is something that you should do really before you even start using your 55 Toughbook in the day to day. You should perform your battery calibration. You should do this when you have one battery in it or if you've recently put in a second battery so it can hold the two batteries for that 30 to 40 hour battery life. You wanna perform a battery calibration. Do this when you have plenty of time away from the Toughbook because you can then um, set that calibration. What that will do is it completely drain both batteries and then it'll calibrate it to make sure you're getting the most battery life out of those batteries. So that could take up to two days before it has fully cycled um, through them. It'll deplete them and fully charge them. So I'm not gonna do that right now because that would be a while, um, but perform your battery calibration. Second thing, as soon as you have access to the internet, you should um, launch your manual selector and the 55, wants to give you the best manuals right up front. So you're gonna launch that. Do it when you have access to internet. So the first thing you can do is update your manuals. And so you have the latest and greatest manuals and it's the user manual and will always be downloaded to your hard drive um, on your 55. So you can access it when you're away from the internet and you can have the latest manuals. Um, the uh, third thing I'd like to check out would be the keyboard. So the 55 comes with an RGB keyboard. And so that, what that means is you can set it to whatever color that you want. If you go back to the settings tab, um, you actually can see that the A1, A2, A3, or A4 key is actually set up to do that already. So it's changed before between the two different colors. Can't really see it, excuse me, right now, just because it's it's daylight out, I got a bunch of lights on it, but the missing back of the keyboard really helps you have a nighttime operation and you can set it to different colors. So if you go to your utilities and you go to utilities tab, your backlit keyboard settings, it's gonna bring up your two different colors that you can set. There's a red, blue, and green and white automatically chosen, but you can change the color one or color two. Uh, it has some pretty much basic colors or you can define your own and really, as you can see, any color, brightness, dimness, whatever, it's RGB, so you can throw whatever colors you want on there. Maybe you should have a daytime color that's really bright, or a nighttime color that's red that doesn't impact your night vision. Um, the 
last the thing that I'd say about the um, function keys is if you wanted to toggle between those two keyboard settings or two keyboard colors that you've chosen, you would just hit function four. And as I said, you could change that in the uh, A1 through four change settings, but I would leave it that way just so you could toggle between those two colors efficiently. So changing um, F to F4, and I'm not, not F4, I'm sorry, function four, will toggle between those two colors. So those are just some basic functions that you can utilize in the 55. Again, this utilities tab in the um, Toughbook is gonna have access to all your, day, uh, your functions in your Toughbook, and it's really useful to access. So that's the PC settings utility for the 55, and those are some easy functions to use. So we're gonna roll through a few different videos about the 55. If you'd like to share and subscribe, you'll definitely be notified when those 55 videos get edited and posted, and we look forward to talking to you there. Bye-bye.